Disney, The Little Mermaid, Make a Splash. Down in the sea lives an adventurous young mermaid. Her name is Ariel, and she's one of King Triton's daughters of the seven seas. But this young princess is far away from her underwater castle. She is exploring a shipwreck with her best friend, Flounder. Ariel loves finding and collecting things from the human world. Ariel discovers a new treasure. She can only imagine what it's used for. She shows it to her friend Scuttle. Scuttle is an expert on all things human. It's a dingo hopper, she tells Ariel. When King Triton learns about Ariel's adventures, he warns her to stay away from humans and everything connected to their world. King Triton thinks humans are dangerous, and he wants to keep his daughter safe. Evening falls, and so do Ariel's spirits. She sneaks off to her underwater grotto. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad, she says as she swims among her collection of gizmos and gadgets. Ariel notices a strange light above the water. Overcome with curiosity, she swims to the surface for the very first time. When Ariel reaches the human world, the sky is filled with a rainbow of fireworks. Ariel spots a huge ship crowded with sailors. They're having a birthday celebration for a young man named Eric. He's a prince and loves adventures, just like Ariel. The sky darkens, and the party comes to an end. Huge waves toss the ship back and forth. Eric and his crew are no match for the storm. Crash! The ship smashes into jagged rocks, and a fire breaks out. Eric helps his crew get off the ship safely, but after going back to save his dog Max, Eric is thrown overboard. Ariel springs into action, saving the young prince's life. She's a hero. Ariel carefully lays Eric ashore and sings him a sweet song. She wishes she could be a part of his world, but she must hurry back to her own. When Eric wakes up. Ariel is gone. He can remember only her song. Sebastian the Crab, King Triton's advisor, lets it slip to the king that Ariel has helped a human. King Triton is furious and goes to her grotto. Promise me you will never look for him again. He orders Ariel, but Ariel can't make that promise. Angry that Ariel won't listen to him. Triton uses his magical trident to destroy her treasures. After Triton leaves, Ariel sadly looks at her ruined collection. At first, she doesn't notice two eels swimming into her grotto. They introduce her to Ursula, the sea witch. Ursula promises to help Ariel by turning her into a human. Ariel swims to Ursula's lair. She gives Ursula one of her scales, and they strike a deal. Ariel has three days to kiss Eric, or she'll be turned back into a mermaid and lose her freedom. She must also give Ursula her voice. After the deal is done, Ariel surfaces far from land. Luckily, Flounder and Sebastian are there to help. A kind fisherman. Accidentally scoops up Ariel in his net. He takes her to the palace, where she is reunited with Eric. Eric doesn't recognize Ariel because she can't sing her song. Still, that doesn't stop them from becoming good friends. Eric is a collector like Ariel and shows her some of his favorite treasures. A pair of adventurers. They spend the next day exploring the island. Sebastian knows that they're running out of time for Ariel to kiss Eric. He takes matters into his own claws. 
With the help of friends, he sets the scene for a romantic evening. But just as Ariel and Eric are about to kiss, Ursula's evil eels tip over their boat. On Ariel's third day at the palace, she wakes up to discover that Eric has decided to marry a woman named Vanessa. Eric thinks Vanessa is the one who rescued him on the beach. I know it's fast, but I do owe her my life, Prince Eric says to his mother and his advisor Grimsby. Fortunately, all is not lost for the Little Mermaid. Scuttle discovers that the bride-to-be is none other than Ursula. Scuttle discovers that the bride-to-be is none other than Ursula in disguise. She used Ariel's song to trick the prince. At the engagement party, Scuttle leads an animal ambush to stop the festivities. Ariel uses the distraction to free her voice from Ursula's shell necklace. She sings her song, and Eric realizes the truth. It was Ariel who saved his life. They are too late. The sun sets before Ariel and Eric can kiss. Ariel turns back into a mermaid, and Ursula drags her into the ocean. When the sea witch tells King Triton of Ariel's deal, the king trades his freedom and magical trident for Ariel's release. The newly powerful Ursula seems unbeatable, but Ariel refuses to give up. She steers a wrecked ship into Ursula and defeats her. With Ursula gone, King Triton regains his power and gives Ariel the greatest gift, the gift of choice. She chooses to be a human, and Triton uses his powers to make her wish come true. Together, Princess Ariel and Prince Eric unite two kingdoms that once seemed worlds apart. Now they are ready to explore uncharted waters and find their next adventure. Thanks for